These women are hoping their work will be competing with the best as finalists in Australia's most prestigious landscape art prize. They're part of the Soup Collective, an art group focused on giving voice to older lesbians' concerns and making sure they're visible in society. It's more significant to have the voice of many people. Last year the group travelled to Evandale to see the Glover Prize exhibition, the annual award for the best contemporary landscape painting of Tasmania. And then we said what was missing and what was missing was older women and older lesbians, not as artists and painters so much, but as being portrayed in the landscape. In the history of the Glover Prize, only two group entries have made it to the finalist stage, and each of those only had two artists. We want to challenge the idea of the individual genius artist, and that everybody is creative in some way. Over the past few months, women have been photographed in the landscape around the state. Then photos were selected, torn and laid out in a collage. And then we could maybe build that sort of rocky landscape up oh, yeah, this that's way. A good idea. Why I joined Soup Collective in the first place was to be able to express things on behalf of my lesbian community. We'd been so silent for so long and it's just lovely to do that. In the final stage, the artists have used the torn photos as guides for painting their scenes. 90-year-old Jenny planned to come along just for a chat, but quickly picked up a brush. You don't stop coming just because you cannot do it as well as you used to, which is a really important thing as you get older. Glover entries close in January, with finalists announced a few weeks later. Selena Ross, ABC News.